Welcome to the QuickBooks University video training series. My name is Matt Holtquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, I run a, run a website at the QuickBooks University, which is qbuniversity.org, where, where, where we have 37 uh, videos training you on how to use QuickBooks from start to finish, literally every aspect of QuickBooks to get you up and running. All right, in this video, what I wanted to show you was how to enter your credit card charges. You know, what I've found with clients over the years is that they'll get their credit card statement and, you know, there might be, you know, who knows, five, ten different charges on it for the month, maybe a hundred charges, whatever. And they go and they enter their credit card charges or they enter the credit card bill just like a normal bill. Okay, and in QuickBooks, when you enter a bill, you, you basically are just going to go to uh, enter bills right here. And what they'll do is they'll enter the credit card company name and then the either the minimum payment or whatever they're going to pay. And then they will just put it to an account. You know, they usually end up just picking an account, you know, office supplies or meals or whatever it is. Okay, this is the wrong way to do this. Okay, what you want to do when you get your statement at the end of the month, if you have not been entering your, your credit card charges during the month, is you want to enter your credit card charges. And then you want to reconcile your credit card, just like you would reconcile your bank statement in QuickBooks. Okay, now there, there's two ways to enter your credit card charges. Okay, first of all, you can go up to banking, go to enter credit card charges, and then you pick your credit card that you have set up in your chart of accounts and you're going to go through and enter each of your different charges. So you'll just go down your statement and enter each of your charges and assign it to whatever account it should go to. Okay. So for example, if you went to Staples on 12-15-07 and spent a hundred bucks, Okay, it pre-filled office supplies because it remembered that that's what it was last time and puts in a hundred bucks. And we're not doing classes in this example. Okay, so you're going to go through and you're going to enter your credit card charges for each of your charges. Okay, let's say that we had Applebee's, 50 meals. Okay. And we'll go down the list and keep doing the next one and the next one. All right. It's pretty simple. Now, the other way to enter them is to go directly to the register. Okay. Now, you can click on this button here for check register. And, well, it's just going to let us do the banking. Let's go over to the chart of accounts. Okay, and go to credit card right here and double click. Okay, it brings up the register. And you'll see in the register here that I have the Staples and the Applebee's charges. Okay, you can enter your charges directly in the register here because it might make it a little bit easier. So let's say we have Applebee's again for 25 and it's to meals and we had lunch with Prospect. Okay, so it's a little bit quicker in the register. If you understand the registers, then by all means you can uh, enter everything in the register. Okay, so now once you get all those credit card charges in there, you have to enter your bill. Okay, now the, the way to enter your bill in QuickBooks is you want to first reconcile your credit card. Okay. So since I'm in the credit card register, it's under the banking menu, it's going to say reconcile credit card. But normally it doesn't say that. So if we go to the, let's go to the home screen. We say banking. Let's get out of the register here and get out of the credit card charges. And we say banking. It's going to say reconcile credit card because we've been working in the credit card. Let's just say reconcile over here. Okay. Brings up the reconcile screen. So just like you reconcile your checking account, you can reconcile your credit card. And this is imperative to do so that you capture all your charges. 
okay? So we're going to say that the ending balance, I'm just making up this example, it's not going to balance. Say we had a finance charge of 25 bucks, and we're going to enter that to finance charge, okay? And hit continue. That's okay, it's 30 days in the future. We're not worried about that right now, and we're not worried about the classes, okay? So it brings up the reconciliation screen just like a checking account. And what you're going to do is after you've entered all those charges, you're going to check them off. And down here, you should balance. Okay. Again, this is an example of just adding charges. I don't have, this is a sample file, so it's not going to balance. So I'm just going to reconcile this. We're just going to enter an adjustment. That's fine. It brings up this screen once you reconcile. Do you want to enter a bill for payment later or write a check for payment now? What we're going to do is enter a bill for payment later. And then you can print the reconciliation, if you'd like, to attach to your credit card statement. We're not going to print that right now. So this is where it's going to show you the full outstanding balance of the credit card in this bill. This is where if you want to just pay a minimum payment, just change the amount. All right. And then hit save and close. And now you have a bill that's been entered and change the dates and due dates and all that kind of stuff. Now you have a, a bill that's been entered for your credit card. So instead of going to vendors enter bills, you want to enter your credit card charges, reconcile your credit card, and then when you do the reconciliation, it gives you the option of entering your bill. Now what this does is it captures all the credit card charges as expenses, because if you just get your credit card bill and you enter a bill for the minimum payment, it's not capturing all of your, your charges as expenses. And it's also understating your liabilities on your balance sheet, which means that it's not recording the full amount of your credit card balance. Okay. Then when we go to vendors pay bills, which I show you in another video, you'll see we've got the Cal Oil Company, the one we did for $250. All right. That's our credit card bill. All right. Okay. I encourage you, if you want to learn more about QuickBooks, please go to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. I've included a link here, and we have 37 in-depth videos on how to use and how to learn how to use QuickBooks from start to finish uh, every aspect of QuickBooks. Uh, plus, we have a forum where you can personally ask me questions on how to get your books up and running once you become a member. And we hope to see you over there. And uh, take care.